Hello welcome to second video on computer science. Let's continue the chapter 1 basic structures of computers topic functional unit A. Computer contains of five functionally independent main parts. Category 1 input unit. Category 2 output unit. Category 3 memory unit. Category 4 arithmetic and logic unit. Category 5 control unit. Let's talk about category 1 input unit. Let's look at its definition. Computer accept coded information through input units. Most of the common input unit is keyboard, mouse, microphone, etc. Example keyboard whenever a key is pressed the corresponding letter or digit is automatically translated into its corresponding binary code and transmitted to the process. Example two mouse, joystick, trackball these are often used as graphical input device in conjunction with display. And the third example is microphone let's look at its definition. This is used to capture audio input, which is sampled and converted into digital codes for storage and processing. You can look at pictures of keyboard mouse and microphone above. Main character of input unit is to enter data and instruction in computer system. Let's talk about second category. Output unit definition the output unit is their counterpart of the input unit. It function is to send processed result to the outside world. Common examples of such unit is printer, monitor. Point one dot printer it prints their information stored in the computers and gives result to the outside world. And point two dot monitor it displays the result to the user. It shows all the activity running in their computer. Third category memory unit the function of the memory unit is to store program and data. There are two classes of storage called primary and secondary storage, memory, plus, one primary memory primary memory also called as main memory. It is a fast memory that operates at electronic speed. The memory consists of a large number of semiconductor storage cells, each capable of storing one bit of information it is also contain RAM, random access memory, RAM it holds instruction, data, intermediate result final results of the job for which the computer system is currently working so that the CPU can assess very fast. Point 1. Primary memory can hold the information only while the computer system is on. Point 2. Primary memory storage have limited storage capacity. Point 3. Primary memory, called as RAM is expensive in cost. You can see the picture of RAM above. Let's look at the figure of primary unit. In the figure you can see how the data is brought from CPU and other devices and stored in the primary memory that is in ROM and RAM. All the data are brought by computer buses. Cache memory, as an adjunct to the main memory a smaller, faster RAM unit is called cache, is used to hold copies of a program that are currently being executed along with associated data. The cache is tightly coupled with the processor and is usually contained on the same integrated circuit chip. The purpose of the cache is to facilitate high instruction execution rates. Assume a number of instruction are executed repeatedly as happens in a program loops. If theses instruction are available, then in the cache, they can be fetched quickly during the period of repeated use. Similarly if the same data location are exed repeatedly, while copies of their contents are available in the cache, they can be fetched quickly by the cache. Secondary memory although primary memory is essential it tends to be expensive and does not retain information when power is turned off. Thus additional less expensive permanent secondary storage slash memory is used when large amount of data and many programs have to be stored access time for secondary storage are longer than for primary storage. A wide selection of secondary storage devices are available including magnetic disks, optical disk, DVD and CD, and flask memory. In the figure you can see two types of devices. In sequential access devices magnetic tape is there. And in direct access devices magnetic disks and optical disks are there. Logic unit, a loop of the processor. Any of the arithmetic or logic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, 
division or comparison of number is initiated by bringing the required operands in the processor where the operation is performed by there, they are brought into the processor by and addition is carried out by the arithmetic and logic unit, logic unit, a loop of the processor. Any of the arithmetic or logic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division or comparison of number is initiated by bringing the required operands in the processor. Control unit the memory, arithmetic unit and input to put device IO units store and process information, and perform input and output operations. The operations of these units must be coordinated in some way which is done by the control unit. The control unit is effectively the nerve center that sends control signals to other units and sends their states. It manages and coordinate the entire computer system. It obtains instruction from primary storage, stored in memory interprets the instruction to computer and issue signal which cause other units of the system to execute them. Please do like and subscribe to watch more videos on CS. Thank you.